At the beginning of the movie, two fishermen arrive on the scene. They were discussing a mermaid. They then make the decision to capture the mermaid. So they start fishing for mermaids in the sea. They had set a trap to capture the mermaid after more than a week had gone. They were waiting for the mermaid to arrive. A boatman had kept a watchful eye on them from afar. The mermaid is finally trapped in the trap. They drag the mermaid aboard the ship. They also subjected to torture. When a mermaid is being tethered by a fisherman, when the opportunity arises, the mermaid uses its tail to strike the other fisherman. It then dives back into the sea. As a result of being bound with rope, that fisherman falls into the sea with it. All of this was being noticed by the observer of them. The other guy in the sea fires his gun at the mermaid, but his partner is killed in the process. That fisherman, on the other hand, captures that mermaid once more. Meanwhile, the observer of them sneaks into their boat and arrives there. He notices the fisherman slashing at the mermaid's tail with his axe, it also dismantles the tail. Meanwhile, a fisherman discovers that someone has taken refuge in his boat, that man is apprehended by a fisherman, and he questions him, how did you get here? What brought you here? That guy claims I'm a psychiatrist, my name is Dr. Bear, and I'd like to introduce myself. I want to buy this mermaid, says the doctor to the fisherman, come to an agreement with me. At the same time, the mermaid's chopped tail falls into the water. Obtaining a time, the doctor dispatches the fisherman with the same axe. Following that, the doctor performs research on the mermaid's half-body. He discovers that the mermaid's half-body has been severed. Despite this, it continues to exist. A few days later, the mermaid's body was covered in new skin. And it was still alive despite the lack of nourishment. It had also been laying in the same spot for several days. Its body sheds its skin after 63 days. Human-like feet and legs appeared at the same moment. With the passage of time, her legs and feet had recovered. She was still unable to walk. However, that mermaid used to exclusively eat fish. The mermaid is sent to the doctor's psychiatric facility for further investigation. And there was a strange truth about the psychiatric hospital. It was all ladies, June who always used to talk with a girl as one of the girl's names. And June was the only one who could see the girl. It was obvious that the girl was a ghost. When Dr. Bear arrives with the mermaid, also visible to the mermaid was the ghost girl, which June might see as well. The mermaid was upset because she had been treated badly. She used to try to get wet or to be in the water. Dr. Bear kept a constant check on it through the camera. When it comes to June is conversing with the ghost girl, and it is later revealed that she died 10 years ago. The ghost girl, on the other hand, refused to die. Like other girls, the ghost girl used to believe it was alive, who is in a psychiatric facility. Mermaids, and only mermaids June was able to see it now. All the females used to make fun of him June's first encounter with the ghost girl. She is conversing with a soul when she says that, now the ghost girl was conversing with the mermaid. In addition, ghost girl tries to help mermaid. In another language, the mermaid converses with a nurse named Sandra. Mermaid was exposing all of her previous misfortunes. But, as what is she stating, Nurse Sandra isn't getting it. Sandra calls a linguist to help her interpret the mermaid, says the nurse, and that man had a conversation with a mermaid. According to mermaid, there is a girl who is completely invisible to everyone. But, as June points out, I can also see the girl. I don't belong in this world, says mermaid. I am a mermaid who belongs in the sea world. She informs me that my tail was also violently cut off, my body created human-like feet when I entered this world. We learned this language from some of the folks, she says, they were scuba divers who had dove into the water, many mermaids were transported to earth by those fishermen. Some of the mermaids progeny live on the surface of the earth, and, as a matter of fact, a mermaid's daughter is also present. Mermaids can't live without water on earth. They can also perish after a long period of time on earth, everyone is stunned when they hear it, however, no one believes this however, Dr. Bayer is enraged as to why the mermaid revealed it to others, as a result, he mercilessly drags the mermaid to punish her. And he confines it, the mermaid is accompanied by a ghost girl, seeing such treatment with it makes all girls nervous, and a young lady chooses to approach the mermaid, that girl approaches the mermaid quietly. Dr. Bayer, on the other hand, notices her, she inquires of Dr. Bayer, where is the mermaid? Dr. Bayer responds, she is in the cellar, Dr. Bayer does not prevent that girl, but rather allows her to leave, when that lady is on the lookout for the mermaid, the ghost girl contacts her, however, 
that lady is unable to hear the ghost girl's voice, that lady arrives at a location where an insane woman formerly resided. She goes after her, that lady, terrified, enters a mysterious room, she comes upon a dog that is a predator, furthermore, it was brought up by Dr. Bear, because of the darkness, there is nothing visible for that lady, that vicious dog lunges at the lady, that lady's time has come to an end. It is shown in this section that Dr. Bayer was not a gentleman by any stretch of the imagination, aside from Mermaid, he had also victimized the other girls, he used to make his vicious dog eat the flesh of those girls after they were killed Sandra inquires Dr. Bayer, I'd like to speak with you about that lady, who had been annihilated by the vicious dog according to R. Bayer, that lady has been transferred to another location. She's fine and secure. Dr. Bayer kept his gaze fixed on the mermaid, in his opinion, the mermaid is emerging from the cellar in some way. He feels compelled to think about this, as a result, he conducts additional investigation on her, the mermaid's body is shown to be swiftly altering, that mermaid was likewise having trouble getting back on her feet. Furthermore, Sandra is in favor of it, after a few days, it was discovered that it was able to walk on its own, gaining courage, it was also being befriended by other girls, they had begun to enjoy it, at night, the mermaid breaks the window glass and flees to the forest. Other girls join in, running after it, however, Dr. Bayer they may be seen dashing through the camera, as a result, he draws his weapon, these girls, on the other hand, grasp for a ride while jogging. They all agree to go for a swim in the river, the water, on the other hand, was filthy enough, so they come to a halt there, those girls later return to the psychiatric facility, freezing and hungry. A girl and a ghost girl remain in the company of the mermaid, mermaid seemed to be happy with her newfound freedom and access to the river, when the girl who spent the night with the mermaid wakes up in the morning, she is alone. As a result, she returns to the psychiatric facility, it was discovered that a ghost girl was combing the woodland for a mermaid, the ghost girl notices that the mermaid has completely altered in just one night, its tail had also been restored, however, the mermaid was imprisoned there, the water had dried up. That ghost girl tells the mermaid, I will assist you in leading you back to your home city. Mermaid is in a wheelchair as she makes her way to the psychiatric hospital, however, it is witnessed by Dr. Bayer, he also hits his car with a mermaid. It is also revealed in front of Sandra that she is a mermaid, Dr. Bayer transports it in his automobile with the help of his employees, at first, he lowers his guard in order to keep this information hidden. Sandra and the other females are also witnesses to the guard's murder, as a result, he moves on to finish everyone Sandra secludes herself in a room with a slew of other females Dr. Bayer tries unsuccessfully to open the door, another nurse is seen sheltering the other females in a restroom, she is also on the lookout for a way out. However, after noticing her, Dr. Bayer shoots her to death, after that, Dr. Bayer makes his way to the restroom, where he brutally victimizes all the other girls, Sandra is fleeing with the guard and other girls, the shouting goes on, Dr. Bayer boarded his boat and sailed away with the mermaid, he uses the fishing hook to hang the mermaid, he was planning on dismembering the mermaid, because he had assumed that he had gotten himself into a lot of difficulty, as a result Sandra and the other girls had seen him commit murder. Those girls, too Sandra has escaped, Sandra, on the other hand, pursues Dr. Bayer's boat in order to apprehend the mermaid, that mermaid has the ghost girl with her. Sandra also arrives there when Dr. Bayer is torturing the mermaid there, hearing its voice, Sandra discovers a document file in the folder, it contained information on the girl whose ghost was seen by the mermaid, it's on display here while doing study, Dr. Bayer had also tortured her, as a result, the girl died in a horrible manner. After that, Sandra tracks down the mermaid, Dr. Bayer is on the verge of attacking Sandra, but, before he attacks, she fires a gun at him, Dr. Bayer is injured rather than killed, then the mermaid comes after him, in the meantime the boat has been damaged, resulting in a hole, as a result, the boat starts to fill up with water. All of the girls go there to provide a hand Sandra was startled when she heard a gunshot, those girls are also witnesses to the fact that she is a mermaid, they release it off the fishing hook because they are together. And the mermaid enters the sea through the boat's broken portion, other girls, however, had become trapped due to the water's velocity, because the boat had filled with so much water, they all began to die June informs us that a girl's body has been discovered. While looking for it, they come across the body of that ghost girl, 
other girls had began to place their faith in June, then Dr. Bayer goes after Sandra, and after she drowns, he tries to finish her, however, the mermaid reappears, and also faces Dr. Bayer as assisting Sandra. Here, Dr. Bayer loses consciousness, mermaid lends a hand to the other girls in rescuing them from the sinking boat, when all of the girls tread on the ground, mermaid appears, and she expresses her gratitude by stating, you have aided me. June is actually a mermaid's daughter, the mermaid explains here. Then there's the ghost girl, who's growing increasingly visible to everyone, I could always see you, mermaid says to that ghost girl. I was aware of your presence. She has vanished into the water after saying it. Dr. Bayer is emerging from the water, it is then noted, however, the mermaid drags him below, and it kills Dr. Bayer. And the movie ends here. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and press the bell icon.